Despite the success the anime industry had in 2021, there also have been um disappointments or I um well I got a better term for that. Let downs. Ito yung mga anime na tipong parang something is off or the plot's been uh, too dragging or even uh, no, the pacing was just too fast for everybody's good. I'm going to tell you right now three animes that have really disappointed anime fans in 2021. So nagmamadali kayong tanawin sa akin yun. JG! Ha? Ang tayo mga kagandang anime ng 2021 ha? Ano yung tatlong anime na sinasabi mo? Eto na naman tayo, TikTok. It's time again for the Anime Minute. First up, this is actually the anime that almost made the Critics Hub roster last winter. But I thought, parang natakal na ang storyline na to eh. I eventually replaced it with X-Arm. It's none other than Redo of Healer. Next, I've seen the first five episodes of this anime and it's one of those animes I thought mabuti na lang hindi ko sinali to sa Critics Hub roster. The pacing was, yeah, too fast for everyone's good. It's none other than Goku Supodo. Last but not least, do I even have to say its name? This made the critics of roster last summer. Pero after six episodes of wow, um, experiencing a hellish chronological order, I eventually dropped it and replaced it with Fan of Pirate Princess. Whew. Hindi mo malam ako ano ang pilot at kung ano finali. It's none other than. Beach Boy Riverside. So there you have it, folks. For me, these three animes are the biggest letdowns of 2021. Kayo, ano ba mga anime sa inyo last year na na naging disappointment para sa inyo? 